and he was very persuasive on calling me. Very, he wanted to call really bad because I didn't really want him to at first, and then he just kept pushing it. And if I wasn't there, he need to know where I was going or where I'd be or why I wasn't online. And I couldn't go too long without him knowing where I was, or he would threaten me. He was into like sexual talk. He, I used to have a web camera, and he'd want me to do stuff on there for him. I pretty much did anything I could to keep him happy, even if I didn't want to. And he told me that he's done this to several girls, all under the age of 15. I'd get sick over it, and I, I missed a lot of school because of it. And this gentleman asked for her. He's very polite. I speak to my daughter. And I gave my daughter the phone. As my daughter proceeded to have the phone conversation, she was pacing up and down uh, in the hall and around the room, and she went very pale. And I knew at that point something was wrong. The FBI was brought in, and they did the interviews with us. But the, but the person continued to be online and continued to try to have a conversation with who he thought was my daughter when actually he was talking to me. And they had been talking for a while, and he continued with the threats. At this point, he said, I know where you live. I'll come and get your mom and you, and I will kill you if you do not do what I ask you to do. The kidnapping of a child.